Hi, welcome to my very first video for my envelopes. This is gonna be a envelope walkthrough of what I'm doing and kind of explain who I am, what I'm doing. I'm, how old am I? I'm <laughs> 37, I'm a mom of three, I live in Las Vegas, I'm trying to pay off debt. We have one more loan to go and we just paid off two credit cards uh if you hear anything in the background my daughter is back there playing a game and we are getting over a cold so if i sound nasally i try to wait as long as i could now i'm just like i'm ready to to move on so i'll show what i what envelopes i have now warning i do have a lot of them and it just works for me i like to be really specific with my envelopes it's really worked we've been doing the system for about a month now and it's completely changed like our financial life so also i have two binders where i do my own savings challenges i mean nothing fancy you'll see what i mean but uh i have like a bunch of them that i'm gonna do so not all of them right now but i'll show you so let's just get started with the walkthrough okay let's start with my envelopes. Everything I have in this video, I'll put links in the description. These are from Amazon. So this is my church envelope. The kids like to put things in the basket, eat out or drink, uh, deposit and bank. So I use this envelope for like anything I've done online. Uh, like, oh my, like if we bought something online, not bills, not bill related, but um, whatever else. I put it on a credit card and then I pay it in full right away. When I charge it, I take the money out of the envelope and I put it in here so I have all the money and then I can get points on my credit card and, you know. Self-date slash self-time. I got into this self-date thing when I saw it on TikTok and I thought it was really good for me because I am very dependent on someone being with me, like my husband. I have a fear of leaving my house. I have agoraphobia. I've really overcome that. It's actually not really an issue anymore but I do try to push myself. This has $60 in it. So this is for me to go like to the coffee shop and sit outside and be on my computer, whatever I need to get done. But the goal is to be by myself somewhere safe. I mean, I am in Vegas, like my local community coffee shop and try to get myself to feel comfortable being by myself. Uh, so I have yet to use that. <laughs> so rewards this seems silly but i live a very strict lifestyle with myself um i've done this for years if i don't keep myself accountable in some way i won't get anything done so i have myself on a point system it sounds stupid i use an app called like the at home app or something i'll list it in the link uh it's like it's a chore app but i use it for other things like if i face anxiety in some way or i do something scary or i complete a task that is really ugh, like i don't really want to do it whatever it is or i complete something significant i'll get myself points and then i have a reward list and like things i want to buy things on my wish list or going out even going out to eat i don't even allow myself to go out to eat or even having coffee at home, unless I earn it. I know it sounds extreme, but this is how I lived for years. I love it, it keeps me going. And it makes me, instead of drinking 12 cups of coffee a day, uh, I drink water. <laughs> so I'm trying to like save up my points. So it sounds stupid, I know, but that, it works for me. And this is other for like, let's say I need to buy something, but I don't wanna get it mixed up in other funds, I'll put it in here. So, oh, sorry, that was a lot. Moving on to the binder. You're probably like, oh my gosh, this is a lot, but it works for me. So this was an envelope. It's no longer, it's kind of pointless to have an envelope. It's my husband's food fund. He has an employee dining room, but it's really gross. It kind of reminds me of what the galley was in the Navy. Uh, no thanks. I can't imagine eating there every night. So he has his own fund for food if he really needs to grab something. House needs, this is everything I need for the house that I don't want to put in the grocery budget. Like um, Swiffer, wet jet things, you know, what dish soap. My husband's spending money to do whatever he wants with. Family fun, this is like if we go and do something as a family and that excludes food. Well, maybe it includes food. It depends on what we're doing. My dogs, 
Uh, this is an indigenous owned shop here in Vegas that we go to. Uh, this is, it says Ryan Eli Hobbies, but let's be real. My son is the painter in this house. He loves to paint. So he has his own hobby fund that's just for like extra paints, primer, whatever he needs. Date night, self-explanatory, Amazon sub and save. I put stuff in here and then I only allow myself to get things for that month based on this budget. I don't wanna overdo it. My son's spending money and my daughter's and my other son. So these, it's their spending money, but I also tell them this is like where their, some other items come out of like clothes, stuff like that. They, they don't need stuff that often, but because I keep it well stacked, I need to add more to this. My son just spent a bunch of his, but um, I want to show them like how to budget. And I feel like including clothes and fun together would be a great way to teach them in small bits. So that's how I'm trying to teach them. So um, I add to this for their clothes, but they also earn an allowance that's for their spending money, but I show them how to do it. They've been really liking it. Like my son is like, oh, pull this out for me, put this much in my savings. Like he's, he's learning pretty well. So I'm teaching the other ones too. This is like for shampoo, conditioner, whatever I need. Also for the family, uh, miscellaneous. So like anything that's unexpected that came up. Um, I want this, no, I want this one now. All right, hair. This is like for me to get my hair done or my kids or my husband's haircuts, whatever hair. Diapers, wipes, etc. Sick, you know, like when you're sick and you need like Dayquil and all this stuff to make you comfortable. We got an envelope for that because it sucks when we don't account for that. And I don't want to pull it out of grocery or miscellaneous, no. Uh, kids activities, my daughter wants to do, I can never say it, was it called Jujitsu or whatever? Jujitsu, I can't say it. But my daughter wants to do that, so I'm saving up for that. Uh, Alaska, that's our next trip. Disney, we just got back from a, I think it was a nine day trip to Disney World, our first time, but we have an envelope for that just to put a couple dollars here and there. We'll go probably after Alaska, but I figured might as well get the fund going because it's expensive. Hot tub, hot tub maintenance. House maintenance, this is like, I want to accumulate in this, like if the AC goes out or anything happens. Uh, the kids' college, we have a set of grandparents that have college accounts for each of the kids, and they put money into it. Um, I figure, why not make one myself? That way the kids have extra college money. Um, my husband, I want to get him a new truck eventually. Um, in about two years or so, my son will be driving. We're gonna give him my husband's truck. So we started that so we can have a good down payment at some point. Emergency fund. My goal is to get six months worth of expenses in this. Costco, we don't go often, but I like to save up and then stock up on all their gluten-free goodies. Uh, let's see, glasses, contacts, my husband has very poor eyesight, so he needs all that. Uh, vehicles, uh, here in Nevada, car tags are insane. We're insane, and we get a discount through the VA, but, mm, so, saving up for that. Also, this is like car maintenance, whatever with the vehicles. Birthdays, uh, and Christmas, which is so cool. Like, like, I'm really pleased with this amount, and we're only in March. Birthdays, we do something like, Interesting. So my, my youngest, his birthday is Christmas Eve. And, you know, it's not really fair that he gets, you know, he doesn't get gifts twice a year like the other kids. So we actually all agreed as a family for birthdays, we do like a big activity and a meal. And the kids have loved that. And then Christmas is like our big gift giving thing. So we do that. So anyways, birthdays, Christmas, medical. I'm glad I have this because I just had a... Uh, a bill come and I was able to pay it straight away. So cool. Crypto. I like to do the cryptocurrency thing. Charity. Um, there is a couple nonprofits that I like to donate to on the regular debt payoff. So on our loan, we're already paying above the minimum payment. 
But I have this just to throw some money in there and then when it hits to like 500, I'll throw it at it for like an extra credit or extra, ugh, eh, I can't even talk, extra payment. So there's that. Now on to my little self-made challenges. Okay, I saw everyone doing the no dollar challenge. Oh, no, you guys, I can't talk. The $1 challenge where like whatever extras you have in your little envelopes put the dollars in there. I'm going to do that. So weight loss challenge. So I'm almost at my goal weight set by my doctors. We have a certain goal because I had high triglycerides. I was repairing my health, repaired everything, but I'm trying to get to where I was post boot camp. So muscle, you know, burning off all the bad stuff, like the triglycerides that are really high, all that. So anyway, so, so let's say I got paid today. I would add to this envelope, however many pounds I have left to lose. So, so far I've lost like 54 pounds. I have like 17 to go, I think. Maybe even less now, it might even be 16. But, uh, so, you know, every time I get paid, I add to this, however many pounds I have left. And then when I, when I hit my goal weight, I'm gonna probably need stuff like bras and stuff. So I'm gonna open that up for that. Uh, pillows, it sounds silly that should be coming out of the house needs, but it, other things come up. There's always something we need for, the house so like we never I, we never end up getting pillows for everybody so we need to soon so i have this oh and i made a little grid as you can see a little self-made grid and i color the little numbers in as i go and it, at least i'll get there at some point and then not get swamped by other house needs treat yourself challenge i don't really know what i'm gonna do with this i just saw the idea on tiktok or is it youtube i don't know and i thought it was cool accounts cushion challenge. So what I'm gonna do with this is once I fill it all up, I'm gonna split it in half and put it in my husband's account, my account, but not log it in our app. Um, oh, speaking of which, side note, we pay all our bills online. So that's why I don't have any bills envelopes. But I'm gonna split it, not log it in our apps. It's just gonna be sitting money, you know, just to sit there at home coffee goodies challenge. I like to make my own coffee. We rarely go out and get coffee, but I like fancy coffee. So it's the replenish all that. Go wild grocery challenge. So I am on a really strict grocery budget. Uh, we are a family of five with food allergies. Um, I have an alpha gal allergy and, a, and I have celiac disease. So I try to eat as plant-based as possible and gluten-free, which is very challenging. So this is like extra, that I could go and stock up on things um, or have a little extra every week to buy more things for me because it, it adds up. Like, it's expensive <laughs> to be gluten-free. Uh, online shopping challenge. Oh, I remember what this is. How can I forget? This is like to have like a shopping spree. This is a fun one. I just want to have a shopping spree here and there. Goodbye debt challenge. This is like the other one where I throw an extra payment, but I figured I'll fill this up. I'll fill up all these things and then I'll see what debt we have. It might be the loan or it might be my van that I'm paying off. Um, this is for an iRobot vacuum and mop. I love the one I have, but I want a mop and I want another vacuum upstairs because it's nice when it does it for you when you don't have time. Okay, retirement account. Uh, let's see. I need to catch up on retirement. I spent a lot of time at home in my early 20s and, you know, so on. So it's like, uh, let's face it. I, when I was thinking about retirement, I'm like, well, there's plenty of like people that like are home a lot or whatever, and they're not adding to retirement or they can't. And I'm like, well, what am I going to do? I kind of, kind of hit home lately, especially with my age. So I'm doing some catch up. So I am paying automatically from my bank account into that account. But this is like a little challenge. Just throw a little more at it. Uh, Amazon shopping challenge. Oh, I have like a wish list of different things like we wanted, like that we saw that other people had that were really cool. So that's just for that. Yeah, a fun one. Juice fast challenge. So short story, I used to have um, high blood pressure and stuff and I found out through diet that I had a lot of excess sodium in my body, even though I was eating low sodium for years. And I did um, a juice fast 
and really, really cleaned out my body and I was able to get off blood pressure meds and it's been five years and my doctor's like, blood pressure's perfect. So I'm like, yes. So I wanna do this again because I had a lot of benefits from it. Uh, invest account, I'll fill up this challenge and throw it at my investment account. Group giveaway, a uh, little shout out to my group. I have a, a group on Facebook, it's called Deals with Courtney, um, discounts, codes, and more. It's like, we mostly do Amazon, but we put discount codes on there and we have affiliate links. So I have that group, um, I wanna do another giveaway. And then surgery recovery fund. Uh, so I was born with an issue and it was with my feet and then I was in the Navy and all the running and everything just made all the bones shift. And then it started shifting like my knees and my hips and ended up with a bunch of stress fractures and it's been a mess. Well, I need to get some things put back into place and fixed and all that. It's gonna be a brutal, brutal surgery. My doctor said the recovery is going to be miserable. He said, I'm gonna be in agony for like five days. It's six month recovery per side and oh, it's gonna be brutal, you guys. So I have a recovery fund so I can just have fun online shopping. Let's face it, it's fun. So if I'm recovering and in horrible pain, I can like slowly go on websites and like buy cool things just to, I don't know, dopamine surge. <laughs> so, um, oh, Maggie's Place. This is a nonprofit I love. Um, they help m moms in need. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Pregnant moms in need. Like just, they, they help them like get their education a place to live out of like abusive situations, all that, I love them. So they're in Arizona and Ohio. I need to find something like this in Vegas, but I still want to donate to them. Um, self loan challenge, that's, I think, I don't know if you've heard of a self, self loan, I just now heard of it. Um, I'll list it below the website, but I guess it's like, it's like a prepaid loan and then they release the money to you when you hit a certain amount but it boosts your credit score. And I like that idea. I wanted to try it out because my son has an interest in doing that. And I just want to see how it works. And then when my son starts working, he wants to do that. So that is all. Thank you for watching.